Kesha has constantly talked about the reported body shaming she experienced from Dr. Luke, but this time she's taking it one step further by revealing something she's never said before. Today's episode of Clever Newsfeed is brought to you by Watchable, now featuring exclusive shows you can't find anywhere else. Body shaming can really take a toll on a person, and Kesha, well, she's no different. In a very candid interview with the New York Times, Kesha opened up about the body shaming that allegedly came from Dr. Luke in the early days of her career and revealed things that her longtime producer reportedly said and criticized her on, saying that it almost drove her over the edge. Kesha revealed a lot, saying she was, quote, under immense pressure to starve myself, and I tried and almost killed myself in the process. That bit of information wasn't the only bomb Kesha dropped during her profile piece. The singer also revealed to the outlet that she submitted 22 new and unheard songs to Sony at the beginning of summer, but it wasn't until a judge intervened a couple months later that she received feedback on her tracks. When the New York Times piece was published, Kesha thanked the outlet on Instagram for, quote, shedding light on my life and legal situation. There's nothing harder than dreaming and working and fighting for something your whole entire life since you were three years old, since you could speak and you finally achieve it and then have someone else take it away from you. My heart has a giant hole in it and is literally aching and throbbing from sadness and loss. Imagine someone owning your voice and not letting you sing. Singing is how I've dealt with everything in my life and my right has been taken away. While many are praising Kesha for being brave and opening up about her struggles, Dr. Luke's lawyers released a statement addressing the singer's latest interview. The statement reads, quote, the New York Times Magazine profile piece that ran today unfortunately has many inaccuracies. This article is part of a continuing coordinated press campaign by Kesha to mislead the public, mischaracterize what has transpired over the last two years, and gain unwarranted sympathy. For sure, a lot to process, and I'm not sure if we'll ever really know the truth behind all of the drama, but I do wanna hear from you guys, so let me hear it in the comment section below, and then also click right over here here to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for hanging here with me on Clever News. I'm Ryland Adams, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again to Watchable for sponsoring this episode. Check them out on watchable.com or download the free app for iOS and Android. Watchable is the newest way to discover the best videos from around the web.